Welcome to Cycling Speed Technology. My name is Nitik. This is the four Java session related to some topics. Like MC question is not. This is the proper top 10, top, I think the 20 question is there inside this uh, PPT. So let's start our discussion. So now, welcome to our channel. What is the power channel man's name? ITSP technologies. Okay. So now let's start. This is the top, not a top. I would or don't say this is the top question. Just I'm writing the course have a top 20 question. Don't take it hard, harder or hard. Okay, this is only for uh just uh, template of the I'm giving to you. So this is the basic four Java questions, okay, 20 questions I have prepared for you. And in this series, we prepared the multiple four Java questions, like a of 500 questions I will share with you by the videos. And then, you know, the PPT I will share on my Telegram channel as well as GitHub also, I will upload that for you. Then I will share that link in the video description where you can revise that. So this is the basic questions related to interview. Maybe interview or ask or not. This is the time that we do maybe. Okay. So now first question is what is the difference between a JDK and JRE? Most people know the Java very well. They know the JDK and JRE. You can simply answer this question, guys. <coughs> so I have noted that it is that I written. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It contains the tools and libraries development of the Java programs. It also contains the compiler and debugger need to compile the desktop. So this is the clean to JDK. So now we download the JDK, right? So we are doing only development and debugging the tool. Okay, execute on the program. So JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. This includes the Java. This includes the JDK. JRE provide library on JVM that required to run the Java program, Java virtual machine. Okay, JRE provides the library to JVM. Okay, JRE provides all. So inside the JRE, JDK is available. So you can download that, okay, include the JDK. Okay, the Java runtime environment, this is include the JDK. Okay, download the JRE, JRE will contain the JDK, right? So next, what is the virtual machine? So now here you can see, uh, in the question is if then a JVM that is the requirement to the Java program. Simply you can say that is the requirement to the Java program. So Java JVM is nothing but Java virtual machine. The abstract machine that executes the Java byte course. There are different different JVM for the different hardware and software platform. So JVM is a platform dependent. Why? Because Linux is the different JVM and Windows is the different, so Mac OS is the different, okay, CentOS is the different JVMs we have. That's why the JVM is the platform dependent, but Java, but Java program is independent. Why? In the upcoming chapters and videos. JVM is the responsible for loading and verifying the executing the bytecode on a platform, right? JVM is the responsible to run that bytecode, right? In the system, you have the Java, install the JVM, right, and give the bytecode, then the bytecode it will run. That bytecode is generated anywhere, it's uh, not a uh, mandatory to generate a uh, bytecode in the window, then you can run on the window. No, Java means run once, write, write once, run anywhere, right, the code is there. Okay, so now next question, what is the difference type of memory areas allocated by the JVM? So mainly six type of areas are there. Okay. So in the JVM, allocate the memory to the different process method and object some of the memory areas allocated by the JVM, right? So JVM is allocated. So class loader, first is the class loader, second is the method area and heap area, stack area, and program counter register native method stack. Like this six type of memory, we have mainly we have five. Okay, P registers up to that register is the important native method stack is also important. It is the component that the JVM used to load the class file. 
So dot class files. When you compile your program, where the dot class file is loaded in the class model. In the method area, in the method area, we have that it is stored per class structure such as runtime, constant truth, field, and method data and code of the method. Right? Method area is storing the code of the method. Keep keep is the creator the runtime and it contains the runtime data area which is object are allocated. Which object are allocated is stored. Is that <clears throat> it stores the local variable and the partially result at runtime. It also helps. It also helps in the method invocation and return value. Each thread create. A private JVM stack and the time of thread creation. Correct. Now, fifth number is the program counter register. This memory area, this memory area, this memory area contains address of a Java virtual machine instruction that currently being executed. Method is that. This area is the result for all native methods we use. What is JIT? Java is using JIT compiler. JIT compiler is just in time compiler, also known as JIT compiler. It is used for the, it is used for the performance improvement in Java. It is enabled by default. It is on file here. Then at aggregation time, rather earlier, Java has the code. Provide the new object and title that is the in the GDMs. My next is this one. First, you can try to give yours, try to write to yourself with your understanding and go to the video and comment on that. Comment on the comment box. What is your perception about what is your, what should your thinking about the description? Okay, what is your answer? Then, this is like. How Java platform is the different from other platforms? Java is a platform in the jungle. Like Java compiler converts Java source code into the byte code and the data can, that can be interpreted by the JVM. There are JVM written almost all the popular platforms in the world's Java byte code can run on any supported platform. In the same way, whereas other languages require the library compiled for the specific platform to run. Why people, why people say that Java is write on and run anywhere? This is the story. Oh, yes. You can leave this paragraph in code. You can give the number. This one, your response of the answer. Okay. Uh, read like that. Okay. What is the habit of your reading? What is the correct way to read that and tell the address? Telling you can write Java code on window and compile it in Windows. Let's talk. The class and just by that you get from Windows, let's talk, can run as it in one Linux, Linux environment. So it is a truly platform independent language. Behind all this portability in Java bytecode, <clears throat> bytecode generated by the Java compiler can be interpreted by any JVM. So it will become much easier to write Java program in Java, write program in Java and execute those to run on any platform. Java compiler, Java C compile, Java code, run the network code. So the next question is how does class loader work in Java? Okay. What is your understanding of this question? Right in the comment. How does class loader work in Java? In Java, class loader is the class that is used to load file in the JVM. Class loader loads the file from their physical file located that is file system, network resolution, etc. There are three main types of class loader in Java. Bootstrap class loader, extension class loader, application class loader. Okay, bootstrap class loader is nothing else. This is the first class loader to load the classes from RT.jar files. 
एक्सटर्नल का इस दो तक क्लास फाइव फॉर्म ऑफ जे आर ए लिफ्ट एंड एक्सटर्नल लोकेशन अप्लीकेशन कार होगा दिस क्लास लोडर डिपेंड्स ऑन द क्लास पास टू द फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ द क्लास फाइव इफ यू टू स्पेसिफाई ये जात इन क्लास पास दें दिस क्लास पास बिल भी लोड रहता डू यू थिंक कनेक्ट कुछ है So now, so do you think the mean used to be? This is the like simple. Okay. Simple. Let's see. Okay. Let the mean connect to my mic with the proper mic. See. Okay. Okay. I think it's audible. You know that. And now, next question is: Can we write main method as a public void static instead of public static void? No, we can't because this is the this any method has the first it specifies the modifiers. Okay, we cannot modifiers. We can specify and the and then the written language. The order of modifiers can be changed. We can write static public void main instead of public static void main. Right. You can not write. It's public void static instead of public static void. First, with public void static, then public static void. So you can change the order of static and modifiers. In Java, if you if we do not specify any value for the local variables, for the local variable, <laughs> then what will be the default value of the local variable? No. The simple thing we can say the Java does not initialize local variables with the any default value, so these variables will be just null by default. So let's say we run Java class without passing any argument. What will be the value of the string array of argument in the main method? It is very very important. We say in one table we will be passed because in the main method we are not passing anything now, so it will contain the null value. Why? Because there is a local variable, local variable is contained. What is the difference between the byte? This one question related to second question. Okay, in the this theory, uh, approach I will take for five hundred question. Video of the fifty to sixty videos I have uploaded. Okay, so so what is the difference between byte and char data type in Java? So both byte and char are numeric data type in Java, right? Byte and char is the both numeric byte and char. Both is numeric data type. Are numeric data type in Java? They are used to represent number in the specific range by the pair is not a byte, right? So major difference the between them is the byte can store a raw binary data where as a pair store the character or text data. Okay, so if the pair is that is the pair is x. Okay, the byte value was range from one x to one x one hundred twenty eight to one hundred twenty seven. So byte is made of the eight bits, but the pair is made of sixteen bits. So it is equivalent of two bits, right? So now next topic is our oops. So in the oops concept, we learn transitions. Now, first of all, what are the main principle of object oriented programming? So now, as we can see the question, what is the main or a different object of the program? Main principle of the object-oriented programming is four pillars we have. Okay, 
First is abstraction in capsules and AI data and polygon. Okay. So next is what is the difference between object oriented programming language and object based programming language? So object oriented programming language. Uh, understand the question. They are trying to ask him object oriented programming language and object based programming language. Okay. So now object oriented programming language means Java and C plus follow the concept of tools like encapsulation, abstraction, polynomial, and in a time the center. The object based programming language follows the some feature of the oops, but they not provide the support of the polymorphism in a times that's like JavaScript or VS script, that's all. Okay, object based programming lines. The form of object and you can build objects from the constructor. They language also support the encapsulation. These are also known as the prototype oriented. Now, next section in Java, what is the default value of an object element? Define as the instance variable in object. All the instance variable object reference in Java are enough. Now, why do you need to construct it in Java? Okay, so now let's see. The Java in Java is an object oriented language in which we create an object to construct a, to construct a piece of code similar to the map. It is used to create an object and set up initialize the state of an object. Constructor is a special function that has some name as a class name. Without constructor, there is no other way to create an object. By default, Java provides a default constructor for every object. If it is overloaded, such constructor, then we have to multiply different types. So this is the definition. object say you know. Of constructor chain, and then we need that to get object. Why? Because this language is object oriented, right? So now, next reason why we need to default constructor in Java. Okay, default constructor is the non argument constructor that is automatically generated by Java. If no other constructor is defined, Java is specific data says that it will be provided a default constructor if there is no overloaded constructor in Java. But it does not say anything about the scenario in which we get a job overloaded. If we get a overloaded, we get a overloaded constructor in the plan. We need at least one constructor to create an object. That's why Java provides a default constructor. So, in the next paragraph, we say that we when we have an overloaded constructor, now when we have done, Java assumes that we want some custom treatment in our code due to the which does not provide the default But it needs default constructor as for the picture. What is the value written time by constructor in Java? When the call the constructor in Java, it's written the object created by it. That is how we create a language. Can we inherit a constructor? Java does not support to inherit a constructor. Why constructor cannot be final? That is our abstract things are wrong. Okay, so now let's see. If we set a method, if we set our method as a final, it means we do not want to put any class to override it. But if but the constructor as per Java language cannot be overridden. So there is a no means of making it final. It cannot be overridden. Constructor cannot be overridden in the last slide, last question. So there is a no means of making it final. Next paragraph. If we set a method as a class abstract, it means that it has no body and it should be implemented in the child class. But in the constructor, it should implicitly when uh, when the when the new keyword is used. Therefore, it needs the body. If 
if we set up method, if we set up methods as a static, it means that it belongs to the class, but not a particular object. The constructor is always called to utilize an object. Therefore, therefore, there is no use of making a static. If we set up method as a static, it means that it belongs to a class class but not a particular object so that was no object that's why constructor is not object. let the explanation in the guys so now what is the difference between jdk and jre is the small question small question is ended so we will meet our next 20 questions okay so thank you thank you for watching it from videos